Here I have the limited edition Ahsoka Tano Legacy Lightsaber box set from Shop Disney. Today we're going to be discussing all the features, any differences between this and the original, and if this item will come back in stock or is gone forever. Let's jump to light speed. Disney decided to drop a huge bomb on us a couple days before May the 4th by announcing that there was going to be a 6,000 piece limited edition Ahsoka Tano Legacy Lightsaber box set. Many fans and collectors including myself have been wanting and anticipating the re-release of white Ahsoka Tano Legacy Lightsabers, especially after her live action debut almost a year and a half ago now in season 2 of The Mandalorian. And although long overdue, we finally have it back and I could not be happier. Also, like many fans and collectors, I was one of those people sitting on shopdisney.com early in the morning thinking, I'm definitely going to get one of these today at retail, and had my dreams crushed when I saw over 20,000 people in front of them in the queue. I ended up turning to the dark side and paying resale, but nonetheless, I am super happy to have them in my possession. To kick off this review, let's talk about the box. The box is a beautiful wooden crate that has a weathered blue and white paint job with markings inspired by the 332nd Clone Trooper Company. On the front, it has Ahsoka's iconic saying, I'm no Jedi, written in Orbe's script. On top, there is a triangle representing the portal Ahsoka used to get into the world between worlds. In the middle of that portal is a convoy representing Morai, the spirit who watches over her. Underneath that is Orbe's script translated to Ahsoka, Upon opening the box, you are greeted by two brand new shiny silver Ahsoka Tano Legacy lightsaber hilts, a plaque indicating your set number of 6,000, another Ahsoka Tano quote, and get this guys, Ahsoka's signature theme music. Yes, this box plays music and it is so freaking cool. So now that we got the box covered, let's move on to the hilts. Has anyone ever told you how Ahsoka got her white lightsabers? I hope not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Legend has it Ahsoka fought an unnamed Inquisitor and killed him by grabbing his lightsaber and blowing it up, killing him but purifying the crystals within, and then she uses them to power her two new lightsabers she made from scraps, to replace the ones she left behind on Zepho, the planet at the end of the Clone Wars. These hilts are the third reissue of the Rebels Ahsoka Tano lightsabers, but are identical to the second version, and the only difference between the first and the second version is just the color of the inserts, the first having black and the second white and gray. But the black is screen accurate based on the show, so I'm surprised they moved away from that. The lightsaber hilts are a bit oversized in my opinion, but are very clean and sleek. The main hilt weighs 2 pounds and 2.6 ounces, while the Soto hilt weighs 1 pound and 15 ounces. You can use the D-rings on the bottom of the hilts to attach to a Galaxy's Edge belt clip. Before we move on to the ignition and sound test, I would just like to invite you guys to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this video and would like to see more like it in the future. Now let's get these lights off and test out this ignition. As you can see in here, this lightsaber makes the same light and sound effects as any other Legacy lightsaber or Hasbro Force Effects Elite, and is the exact same as the previous two iterations of Ahsoka's Rebels lightsabers. The best and most screen accurate combination of blades is going to be a 31 inch and a 26 inch blade. The 36 inch blade is a little bit too long in my opinion for most users, and I've also noticed that there is a slight discoloration towards the tip of the blade with that size. This lightsaber set retailed for $400 USD, 
which I feel is a fair price given the item's exclusivity. Unfortunately, since this set doesn't come with blades, and if you don't have them already, you'll have to pay extra. Since Disney made the rather strange decision not to offer blades with customers who order a set, now you have to pay resale, which could be $150 to $200 unless you can manage to go to Galaxy's Edge and pick them up yourself, which would only cost about $100 for a 31 inch and 26 inch set. For those of you who won't pay resale, I believe there will be another opportunity to pick this up soon for a reduced price. And here is why. As you guys can see, this is of 6,000. So on Shop Disney and Shop Disney UK, it's stated in the description that there was 2,000 available, which means that there is another 2,000 out there somewhere. And my theory is that they're going to split the remaining 2,000 sets between Disney World and Disneyland, which will drop the resale price and give Disney locals an opportunity to grab at retail. My final thought on this item is that it's a great opportunity for Ahsoka lovers who wanted the original but didn't get a chance. But keeping the Rebels theme, in my opinion, was a lazy excuse not to redesign the product that was far from perfect and should not be purchased if you want a one-to-one -one scale screen accurate set. For those interested in something like that, I know a lot of people in the Saber community love their Thrawn Hunters from KR Saber. As Ahsoka lightsabers go, at retail and even resale, these are the most affordable white Ahsoka lightsabers on the market. And despite no change since the version 2 released a couple years ago, these will make a fine addition to anyone's collection as a display piece, especially with the highly detailed limited edition box. Before we head out, I would just like to apologize for my two month absence from posting videos. I'm hoping to get back on a weekly schedule to get content out on a more consistent basis. I would also like to thank you guys for all the growth and support I've received during my time away. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on my Instagram at milesbensolo to stay up to date on all things Star Wars collectibles or to just say hello there. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts were on the Ahsoka Tano lightsaber bundle and what lightsaber you would like to see Disney make next. Thank you guys again. I'll see you at the next one.